Namaskaram, Yana Liza, learn Malayalam with Alikuti Lika Swagadam. If you're looking for a place to improve your Malayalam, you've come to the right channel. Today is lesson 7 in our beginner series. If you've missed the previous videos, check them out in my playlist over here. Otherwise, let's hop right in and get on to today's topic. So we're going to review the dative case and we're also going to talk about the genitive case. So we're going over possessions or the possessive form of nouns. And we're going to start introducing some family member names. And I'll get to tell you a bit about my family and maybe you can tell me a bit about what yours. Let's get started. But first, we must review. So here we have a conversation in English and a word box at the bottom of Malayalam. Pause this video and match the phrases to their English equivalent. When you're ready, hit play and we'll go over it together. Okay, let's talk about this. Avan Arane Puli Adam Arne Adam in the Etravais under Chetana Irapatanja Vice under. Notice that there are three ways to say he. First, we have oven, which is the very basic way of saying he, and then when the person replies, they refer to Adam as Puli because this is more respectful, and we find out that. Adam is his older brother. So in the third part, he says Chetan. So he's referring to his older brother by his title. So in Malayalam, it's always important to address someone politely by either using a polite pronoun like Puli or Ateham or by their title like Chetan, Achan, and so on and so forth. So here is a picture of me and my family. I am approximately 13, 12 in this picture, and I have my younger brother and my dad and my mom. So let's talk about this. Avar arane inde kudumba marne. Hano, ninde kudumbam. Ade, pare padamane. Adeham inde achinarne. Avar inde amarne. Avan inde anianarne. Achoda. Okay, so here we have the family, Kurumbam, Kurumbam. And it's saying Ende and Ninde. Think about what that might mean. Ende Kurumbam, Ninde Kurumbam. Alright, Pareya Padam, it's an old photo. Ateham in the Achinarne. So notice the difference. When I refer to my father, I say Ateham. And when I refer to my younger brother, I say Avan. And achoda is a way of saying, like, oh, how sweet, or oh, how cute. You hear this a lot when looking at pictures or talking to babies, these kinds of things. So, when we look at the genitive case, my would be ende, ende, and yours would be ninde, ninde. For he, avende, and for she, avolude. When you're not sure, you can add de or ude to the ending of a name. I have a separate video on more details on how to conjugate into the genitive case. So notice the difference between the dative and the genitive case. Here we have inika renda anyan marunda. I have two younger brothers. Avin ende anyanarne. He is my younger brother. Now, I'm going to tell you a few words for family members, but I have some tips. There's a lot of different ways to express family relations, and depending on your religion, your caste, your community, it may be very different. So I'm just going to give you some basics here, but if you are of Malayali descent, uh, do ask in your family what words do you use to specify. So, for example, father can be achan or appan. For mother, we have amma, umma, amachi. For older brother, there's Chetan, Ichayan, Ika. For older sister, Chechi. For brother in general, we would say Sahodaran. Now this can be older or younger. It's not specified. And for sister, it would be Sahodari. Again, it's not specifying older or younger, it's just sister. Then for younger brother, we have Anyan. And for younger sister, we have Anyati. These are the ways of expressing some of the way we refer to our family members. And remember, when you are addressing someone older than you, 
even just referring to them in a statement, do not refer to them as he or she. Oven or oven. It's seen as quite rude. Use their title. For example, Arjun's younger brother never calls Arjun by his name or refers to Arjun by his name. He always says Chetan because that's who he is. He says Chetan. And so he'll always refer to him, even when talking to me. Oh, did Chetan call you today? So do take note of that. So let's practice. Look at this conversation. You can go back in the video and check to help you with your notes and translate this into Malayalam. Pause the video and when you're ready, we'll go over it together. All right, let's go over it. Nenika etra sahodari marunda. Enika oru chechi undu. Chechiyude peru endane? Chechiyude peru Olivia aanu. Chechiku 27 vayasu undu. Nenika etra sahodaran marunda. Enika rendu anyan marunda. So let's look at this carefully. When we use etra, we're asking how much. So that means unda would stay the same. We don't have to change it to the question form. All right. And then notice how when someone says, the person replies, they don't say, they say, to be polite. Olivia She's called Olivia. Okay. And then when we change it for age, we say chechike into the data case. Chechike irpatere vai sunda. Then I'm asking back. Nenege etra sahodaran marunda. So when you have one sahodaran or saho, uh, you have one sahodaran or sahodari, but if you're talking about plural, we use the ending mar. Sahodari mar, sisters. Sahodaran mar, brothers. Now, Tell me in the comments about your family. How many brothers do you have? How many sisters do you have? In Malayalam, you often hear the phrase Who all is there in your house? But it means how many people are in your family or who do you have in your family? I'm looking forward to hearing about your families. And if you don't want to tell me about your family, make a family up. You can just put whatever to practice. Again, I'll put some links to some other videos that might help you with this. And if you're wanting to practice in a group environment, we have our Discord with over 2,000 members, both learners and helpers alike. So be sure to join. Every Monday we have live classes at 7 and 8 p.m. IST, absolutely free. Hope to see you then. Until next time, apoelo para nadupole.